One of the most important pieces of equipment that you will need to go along with your PSB7 Spirit Box is a digital recorder because you will want to record your sessions. I have a Sony IC recorder and they can be found at Best Buy, online, or just about anywhere. If you do buy a new digital recorder, make sure that you get one with a microphone that records in stereo. Now here I have loaded a clip from one of my sessions into Adobe Audition. Adobe Audition can be a little pricey, but you can go on the internet and find a program called Audacity. Audacity is free and you can download it safely onto your computer and install it. It's very similar to Adobe Audition but you will have to play around with it and learn how to work it. On the screen you will see part of a session that I did. I did not load in the entire session because it was about 15 minutes worth of recording so I did segment out part of a session here to demonstrate with All these jagged lines that you see very close together are actually parts of a recording, words and sounds. I'm just clicking and dragging, you know, click and then drag, you know, just like that if you want to isolate out part of the recording here, and I'll show you how to do that in just a moment. But I'm going to move the playhead back. It's right at the top of what's called the timeline here. And then I'm going to click the play button. Feel that you are dead. Okay, there I stopped it. I'm going to move the playhead back again. And what I'm doing is actually listening to my recordings. This is the part where I will go to what I think is the spirit voice response. And I'll click and drag. And I'll take a segment of it. Go up to edit, copy. And then back up to file, new, and then audio file. And click OK. It will say Untitled. And then I'm going to go Edit, Paste. And it's back in there in a shorter version. So I'll click the play on that. And I have it set to looping so I can listen to it over and over again. It does it automatically without me having to manually move the playhead back. When I loaded my entire MP3 session into my audio editing program, there were a couple responses to a question that I had asked about what it feels like to be in spirit. And I placed markers at them so that when I came back and looked at the file again, I could go right to these responses. So I'm going to show you how I listen to the little segments of the clips, I isolate them out and again we're going to go edit copy and then I'm going to go file new audio file and it's untitled for now until I save it and then I'm going to go edit paste and, and then it loads in the shorter isolated file and I'm going to play it for you. Okay, so I don't have it looping back right now, but I'm thinking I'm hearing him say, and it's a he, the word tranquil. So I listen to it. I'm going to loop it now. Listen. <laughs> When I listened to this isolated segment several times, I determined that the voice I was hearing was indeed saying tranquil. Now, I'm going to take my mouse, I'm going to click in here, and I'm just going to stretch out these forms a little bit, these little waveforms. And if you recall from the first video, I talked about the 100 millisecond sweep over radio stations, so that's one radio station, that's two, that's three, and so on and so forth. And so you might get, you know, a couple radio station frequencies with the same station, 
but when I count all of these and I come up with seven, there's a little bit more over to the side here. And this tells me it's virtually impossible for this to be nothing but radio bleed through, spanning seven radio stations. This tells me that it's a spirit voice. Now, you know, the skeptics will have a field day with this and they'll find something wrong with it. But I have learned that if a spirit answers a specific question of mine with a reasonable response to the question, then I can pretty much trust it as being real. And I do not believe I could pick up the word tranquil as clearly uh, if it was just radio contamination or radio bleed through. So I'm going to play it again for you. So I know that that's the word tranquil. And so what I would do then is I would take this little short file and I go up to File, Save As. And sometimes I save as a .wav file because they, they are less uh, compressed. They keep more of the integrity of the file than an MP3 does. Or sometimes in this particular program, I save it as an AIFF file, which means I can go back into Adobe Audition and work with this file without, and um, I think it's saving right now, without it losing any of the integrity. So there you have one of the words. Now I'm going to go File, Close. And so we're back into the original MP3 file. And we've got the word, what I think, is afterlife here. So I'm going to do the same thing. So I've copied and pasted of a shorter version of that original clip. And I'm going to play it for you. And it's going to loop. Okay, so what you may have to do is fiddle with the volume so you don't blast your eardrums out. And some people who are really, really advanced in these audio editing programs can even tone down the background noise, but you don't want to do it too much because you might be damaging the integrity of the words that you're hearing. So I very seldom do anything to the files that might alter them in any way. Here we go. Hello, is anybody here?